Hello everyone, I'm the Marman and welcome back to Train Simulator where today we're going to be taking a slightly overdue look at the CRH380D from Just Trains which is now on Steam. As you can see it is very very nice indeed. Now um, dynamic lighting is off which is why the game look is running so well today. So yes, that's um, because the Shendgu to Sweening line is quite the frame rate heavy one. So we've turned off dynamic lighting but this is the train. Just look at how streamlined it is. It's fantastic. It is the fastest train that you can get on Steam now. So if you want it, go and get it because it is amazing. The only thing that's it's a bit sort of ear piercing with it is the horn. Cover your ears. I, I told you to cover your ears. If you didn't, that's your fault. So if we go into the cab here. So yes, this is the cab. Obviously my, my settings are down a little bit so it doesn't really look the best in the world. But yeah, it's still a very nice train, and as you can see on there, that's actually a 400 kilometers an hour. This train goes very fast. Um, now, on most routes, um, the um, the automatic braking will kick in if you break the speed limit. So if you click the, on the on the little blue bar that's there, you can turn it to off, and then you can seriously seriously get some speed up. So if we just put the throttle on there, and we could just watch the, let's just watch the train go from it, just so you get an idea of the speed. Also, pop the lights on. So yes, this is the this is the um the CRH 380D, and it is the it is a beast. It's been it has been on Just Trains for quite a while, and you've probably seen me do it on Just Trains in the past as well. But now I've got the Steam version. When you if you get the Steam version, the advantage is it, the advantage is is when you install if you have to ever reinstall Train Sim and stuff like that, it installs with it. You don't have to install it separately. It just it just keeps everything in one place, and that's what I like about it. So yes, let's look at this. Amazingness, and it goes it goes very fast, and we will see that later today. The acceleration it's not massive acceleration, but you know what can you expect? Also, the the the, the red lights on the back flash. I'm trying to show it off here, but my camera work is terrible. They flash, which is pretty cool. So yeah. So I think what we shall do is we shall dive into the scenario for this train. Um, I'm probably going to do the one that's 35 minutes long because I'm not going to do it for ages. That beeping alarm does go off thing, but you can turn it off if you click on the, this button here. And then you go outside, it turns it off. So that's just an interesting fact for you right there. So you don't have to listen to the annoying beeping on the outside of the train. And you can go as fast as you like. So without further ado, let us have a look at what scenario we are doing today. So we're going to be doing the evening rescue scenario. We've got to um, tow a broken down CRH1A that's um, to Sweening. So this should be entertaining, shouldn't it? It should be entertaining indeed. So let's dive right in. And we are in. What are we doing, game? Hello, driver. Please move forward over the points to Jijin East so that we can reverse and couple to the failed unit. Okie dokie, we can do that. The failed unit is over there. So let us um, let's get in and let's do that thing. So let's just move forward here. Um, but actually we're not allowed to according to that that same we've got a red signal um, can I can I ta can I tab it I can tab it good let's go cool moving forward and stuff I've tabbed the signal so it should be safe so yes this is this is the uh, this is our train just look at it it's amazing the fastest train ever well it's not technically it's not I mean you know if you count maglevs and the jet train then but it's the fastest legit train and train simulator and that's all we need to know that's all we need to know indeed right so let's just stay in here because we've got to try and not go too fast really is, is, is the plan I think so yeah because obviously you don't want you don't want to be caught speeding I mean I know it says 90 but the track speed well what is the track speed is it 90 it might be it might just be 90 okay well I, I don't know I really don't know cool right well let's just let's just stick it there that'll do we're only we're only going up so we can reverse that's all we're doing that's all we're doing indeed. Just look at this train though. It is amazing. I do love it. It is fantastic. Oh, the game's playing weird. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so dynamic lighting is off to try and um, ease some of the frame rate back because this game is just... Well, not this game. This route is just a frame rate killer. Oh, look at that there. That's quite a nice frame rate. But over here with the lights. If I turn the lights off... No, it doesn't really help, does it? It's a nice frame rate apart from when I'm looking at the front of the train. That's that's the strangest thing. Come on, lights. No lights. Come on. There we go. Right. Let's just go in here. So yes, we're stopping at Jijin East and then reversing back to the failed CRH1A. And because of that, I don't know how fast we're going to be allowed to go. This should be entertaining. It should be indeed. 
So we've got to stop there and go back. That's easy enough. How's the rear of the train doing? I don't know how... F I don't, I'm assuming we've got to get the whole of the train off all the points, is what I'm assuming. That's probably the, that's probably the best thing to assume. So, yes. So, yeah, you can see on the back of the train there, the red lights are actually flashing, which is quite nice. So, could you imagine seeing this train with the yellow on the front, like we have in the UK? That would be very odd indeed. That would be very odd indeed. Right, okie dokie. So, let's just idle the throttle there. There we go. And we've just got to um, just got to reverse up over there. Yeah, when I look that way, I'm assuming there's less scenery side to side because the game runs a lot better there. We're now we're allowed to now go 320, but we're not going to. We're going to stop here. That's it. Stop. And stop. There we go, because we've got to reverse up. So yes, but as you can see, the speed limit has gone up to 320 kilometers per hour. That's the, that's a lot of speed. That is a lot of speed. So we've got to go back and get the thing now. I, t I take it. Come on, game. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. I stopped in exactly the right place. That's amazing. Now set back onto the failed unit. I'm assuming the points have done it automatically. I'd like to think so. Go. We're going. Right. So yes, we're now heading on this way. The lights have changed, which is good to see. Now, how's the, how's the points doing? We're now going that way. We're going that way. And we're going that way still. And we're now going this way. Yep, so we're going onto the, the this train over here is where we're going. Let's just have a zoom ahead. This is the fail train. That's, that's a platform. This is the fail train that we're coupling up to. So um, that's what we shall be doing. That's what we shall be. So this train, the poor train. Why are you still sitting in there? You failed. You failed. All right. Um, okay, okay. So we just do this, and then I'm assuming we pick up some passengers, maybe, and then we just get on our get on our way to Sweening. Get on our way to Sweening indeed. I like how with um, with this route, it's like if I was doing a Scottish route or something like that, I'd be terrified to pronounce the names wrong. But with this, I'm just assuming that I'm saying it okay. I shouldn't, but whatever. Yeah, look, the framework is very nice looking at it like that. Oh, just look at this train. Right, throttle off. That's it, throttle off. We don't, we don't want too much speed. Don't want too much speed because we are coupling up to a train. Oh, just look at that though. That's just amazing. I, you've got to love this train. You seriously have. Just look at it. Right, yeah, speed limit's gone down to 90, but that doesn't concern us. Let's just get ready to couple up here. So we've just got to, so um, we've just got to couple up straight away. That's easy enough, but we will stop in front of it because that's just that's what we do. That is what we do. So um, yeah, this should be entertaining. Should be entertaining indeed. Right, because I, I did. Oh, you wouldn't have th thought these trains could actually couple up together, could, but they obviously can. What's the coupling like in here then? It doesn't exist. That's odd. Okay, well that's odd. Why did the train go bong? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's just wait over here and wait for the train to, to, to reach us. In fact, if you're just sitting here. I mean, what if you just saw this train coming towards you? I mean, that'd be, that'd be kind of freaky. It would be kind of freaky indeed. So, yes. Yeah, the frame, look, the frame was just sort of like, da, 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 fine, 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 fine. Da, da. Oh, that's very odd. Very odd. Can't wait to get some sort of improvement. Stop. Stop. Coupled. Right away, mate. Our next stop is Zitong. Your max speed on this journey is 250 kilometers now. Yes, we can't go full speed. What is going on here? I, 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 I don't know, but we're, we're going to ignore it. Hang on. Right, so which way are we going? Hang on, which, which way are we going? We're going there. That's not useful. Um, hang on. I don't actually know which... I'm assuming we're going this way. Okay, well, we'll go this way then. Go! We are indeed going. So, yes, we can't go full speed today. Because we're, um, we're dragging a train that can't go as fast as us. But we will, I will get up to speed on this later. I will show you its top speed on quick drive. So, we shall do that thing. Um, so, yes. Uh, let's just get ourselves up to... We can go as fast as 90. So, let's... um. Let's do that thing, shall we? I think so indeed. Come on. Full full throttle. Full throttle. Let's do it. We ain't got any score to lose, so let's just full throttle it. We're going to turn... Well, actually, we're gonna, we are going to disable external alarms. Just just so, you know, we don't have to listen to those. Because they're annoying. Um, you don't. Nothing like being out here. There's nothing worse than being out here and just hearing... Beep, 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 beep. Evilness, evilness. So, yes. Right. Um, going 40 kilometers now, right now. So, yeah, this is just like the slowest this train can go at the moment. So yeah, this but this train, I mean, it does the top line speed on this is 350 kilometers an hour, and that's where the line is there. But it can get up to 400, which is just amazing. It's just amazing indeed. At 60 kilometers an hour, 
We're just waiting for the, the bong that takes us up to 320. Except we can only, we're only allowed to go 250, which is a shame. This train does have a speed set. So I could, if I so desired, put it on to 250. Um, I don't know which... I th yeah, I could put this on to 250. So if I put it on to 90... So if, we, if you were to put that on to 90 there, the train should stop itself at 90. That's right. Hang on. Right, it's now gone up. So let's see if the train stops itself at 100. Let's just test this quickly. Because I've, I've just put the speed set on using that little dial there. So, um... Yeah, that hasn't stopped itself at all. Okay, right, hang on. I haven't enabled it. That's why. That's why. I haven't enabled it. Right. Let's see if the train stops itself at... Um, yeah, it's doing it. Okay, right. To 250. To 250. There we go. You can see the numbers that go is changing there. It went to 260. Down to 250. There we go. So that's now saying 250. And that's our... Um, we can go to... Oh, we have to go to... It's, it's recommending 230. So we'll go 230 then. There we go. No, 230. There we go. What's the bong for? 160? Alright, we might as well turn this off and drive it ourselves then. Off. So yes, yeah, so let's actually look at the scenery now, shall we? So this is the winter. It is, it is in the winter, so that, that's all lovely and nice. Look at this. This is just amazing. So let's just watch the whole train go past. So you've got the normal train, which is... So you've got the, yeah, so you've got the normal CRH-3OTD, and then you've got the CRH-1A there, which is very nice. And it's, yeah, it's turned off. It's got no sound coming from it whatsoever. But that's fine. That is fine. So, yes, we're, we're being told to go 160 is what we're being told to go at. Which is, you know, it, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Look at all the trees. It's just a, is that just a lone house over there? Poor, poor dude. Just a lone house. Oh, well. Right, that's 160. Let's throttle down there. There we go. Just just, just keep ourselves at... Oh, go, 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 go down to 90 now, have we? Thanks, thanks. When is that by? Is that by the next signal? We ain't going to make 90 by the next signal. Because this is very much like TVM. Um, the, the TVM signaling on HS1. But it's, it's slightly different. We're stopping at Zitong, so yeah, that makes sense. So let's get down to 90. We haven't got to be there at any particular time, so it's fine. We're gonna we're just going to jump ahead. And gonna just going to go over here. Over the over the thing. And watch our train come out the tunnel. Because this, this must be awesome. So there we go. There we go. We're down to 90. There we go. Let's get ourselves. Boom. So I don't know. What, I don't know what it is now. It's probably saying 45. But whatever. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? Indeed. The train is indeed coming out of the tunnel any second now. Yeah. Here we go. Just look at that. That screenshot failed spectacularly. But never mind. Never mind. And there it goes. And then there's the other train. The 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 failed train. Such sadness. Right. How are we doing? Yeah, it wants us down at 45. Okay. Alright, well, let's get down to 45 then. Uh, probably by that next signal, so that's, we're probably speeding now, but... Yeah, we're speeding. We're speeding. Yeah, it's going to put the emergencies on now, but it doesn't really matter because we're in control. Uh, down to 45. There we go. It's now us controlling. There we go. So, yes. Um, if you're not inside the cab of this one, you don't pay attention and then you have problems, but whatever. Whatever. At least we don't have to be here at a certain time or anything like that. So, yes. I, I love how the headlights have got their beams on them. That looks amazing. Also, what I'm looking forward to as well is Just Trains are actually working on two more um, of these two more trains for this route. They're working on the CRH-2A and the CRH-380A. So, that's um, that's a, another version. That's a different version of the one that we're coupled up to and another version of this train. Which, so, I cannot wait to see those. That will be amazing. That will be amazing indeed. Right, so we just got to stop here and let all the let all the passengers off and all etc etcetrasness, whatever. So yeah, you can go. This is the passenger view, by the way. Just thought I'd show this off. It's a very nice passenger view indeed. They've got some sort of signage going on there. I don't know what any of it's saying, so it's kind of pointless. In fact, no, this is no. Hang on, hang on. This is the wrong passenger view. We want to be. This is the passenger view for the for the CRH 380D. There we go. Got it right in the end. I uh, got it right in the end. It's a bit quiet in here, though. Not gonna lie. So yeah, you can you can sort of like sit here and stuff. Anyway, let's just get into here and just see what we're doing. Right, I've got to get the last train on the, or the last bit on the. Hang on. Come on. Just the last little bit. Just got to get the door on at least. Come on. We can do it. Just get the door on. Just to feel professional enough. And that'll do. That that'll do. Stop. 
and doors. Now, what doors open? This is the question. I bet right, that one didn't open, and that's fine. They did, they did, they all did, didn't they? I'm just the best person in the world. Look at this. I'm indeed. Ah, oh, the front one didn't open, but, you know, such is life. Such is life. I could probably collapse that back down now, can't I? Yeah, completely forgot about that. Right, so let's get a nice screenshot of us waiting at the station now. Look at that. That is awesome. I think we've got to stop at all the stations along the route. I'm pretty sure that's what we've got to do. There's one there as well. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Right, so driver, next stop, Shang... Chang Shan Zen. Okay, okay, that's... that's in, okay, All right. I'll try my best to pronounce these names. I'm probably getting them all wrong, but, you know, don't don't blame me. Do not blame the me. Let's watch the train go past from here. This look, should, should look pretty cool. There we go. I could probably collapse that down for a little while as well. Away it goes. Oh, just look at that. I'd love to see these trains in real life one day. It would be absolutely amazing. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do that thing one day. Obviously, it would be a long, day, long time in the future, to which these probably won't exist anymore. But I hope they do. I want something like this in the UK. This should be a HS2 train. That'd be amazing. How are we doing for speed? We're doing good for speed. Oh, just look at that. Just snaking our way out of the out of the station there. Onto, was it Ch Chang Shan Zen? Something like that? I don't know. That was my guess. That's my guess. And there's the normal train. The normal train indeed. The normal train indeed. Goodbye train. How much is left? How much is left? Not too much longer. There you go. There's the end of the train. See, why has you got your pantograph up? You failed. You failed, mate. You don't need your pantograph. Oh, whatever. Goodbye. Your, your, your red lights are working, so that's good. Right, let's go in here. So, yeah, we're, we're still limited to 90 at the moment. And then, hopefully, we should be allowed to go up. Oh, I think this is the, this is it here. So, the speed limit changes. Um, the next speed limit change um, downwards is in more than 10 kilometers, is what that's saying. At least, I think that's true. I think that's how it works. But tell you what, this line, this Shengu to Sweeling line, it is one of the best lines for testing out all your all your high speed train goodness. You know, if you've if you've got a fast train and you want to see how it runs, put it on this line. It is it is it is the line for it. It is worth bearing in mind though that this line is a very frame rate intensive one. Because obviously, you know, it's not designed for the game's not designed for the, the such high speeds as 350 kilometers an hour and up. So, you know. Yeah, that's just that's just the technicalities of of, um, of the old train simulator engine, which um, yeah, hopefully the um, the new one one day that comes out in the future will be um, more suited to higher speeds, and then we'll get stuff like the maglev, and that'd be amazing. Because you may notice like the 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 scenery. I mean, the scenery is not great because of my laptop, but even on a really good computer, the scenery wouldn't be fantastic because of um, you know. Because of the high speeds, that's it. Yeah, the high speeds mean you can't do really high stuff. So we're nearly going 100 miles an hour, which is nice. Um, so yeah, just look at that. That's just so cool. I love I love the livery on these trains as well. Just the subtle blue stripe. It's amazing. Yeah, we're cleared up to line speed, but we're not allowed to go that fast. Sad face. This looks like it could be an interesting screenshot. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I got the train in the background. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So yeah, we can't go any more than 250 kilometers per hour, but that's fine. That is fine. That's still quite the speed, you know. Yeah, that whistle's a bit um, or the horn. Say it's a bit um, it's a bit you know, a bit harsh on the ears, but you know that's that's just that's just something you got to put up with. Uh, now it says 300. Okay, well that still doesn't bother us. That still doesn't bother us because we're limited to 250. Out of the tunnel we got. Oh, look at this. Look at this with the, sort of the cliffside there. That looks so good. It really does. Goodbye, train. Have all your awesomeness. So yes, we can go in. Let's just go in here quickly. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Never mind. Let's just stay in here for a little while. So yes, this um, the scenery is designed to look good when going past at 350 kilometers an hour. It's not designed to be look, to look good when you're going past it like really slowly. So that's the... Oh, God, look at the downhill we're coming up on here. Wow. That should be entertaining. Should be very entertaining. Um, yeah, we've got to make sure we don't... What does that say? 2.30. Okay. All right. Let's stay stay at 2.30 then. Let's just throttle down a bit. Oh, look at this. Just open, open up track. High speed goodness. Look at this. This is amazing. 
I love it. It's fantastic. Just cutting through the, the Chinese, um, was it? Yeah, the Chinese countryside. That's the words I was looking for. That was the words I was looking for indeed. So 2.30, um, so yeah. And we've got to be down, uh, I don't know how this works. Does it want me down at 45 in the next, yeah. I've got to be down at 45 within the next 3.7 or 3.6 kilometers. So that's how that works. So now it says to be down at 160, so we start braking for the 160. So it's all very clever, you know, you know when you, the signaling system is very clever. You know where you've got to be and when, and all that other lovely stuff. So yes. So we're slowing down rather nicely here, and we should be, we should arrive, well, we, we can't arrive on time, there is no time, but you know what I mean. I just love how this train looks. It's, it's just, just up close, it just looks, it just looks fantastic. I mean, sort of like, that's probably the normal zoom out level for a train. And, and the, the nose is just so in your face, just look at that. You would not want to argue with that. In fact, that's, that's probably going to be quite a cool um, thing, actually. Hang on, cool thing! Oh yeah, look at this. I don't you just love it on YouTube when, like, you know, people put the cameras underneath or in between the tracks? That's just a cool thing. And goodbye train. We're looking through the, the bottom there, but never mind. Goodbye train. How are we doing? We need to be down to 90. Okay. And, yeah, we need to get down to that 45 pretty soon before the next signal. So that, that should be easy enough, though. It should be easy enough. Oh, yeah, we'll be down in time. Yeah, we need to be down to 45, like, very soon. That's easy enough. It'll be fine. You know, just just relax. Just just relax. There we go. 50. Uh, there we go. We could probably just just get ourselves. There we go. Idle the power. Well, no, don't 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 power up. Just 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 just. There we go. I just watch the train go past at this speed because it should look pretty nice. There we go. And I watch the train go past. Now let's get rid of that. Oh, look at it. It's amazing. Screenshot. Very nice screenshot there. Just watching the train go past. I love, I just love it. I love, uh, high speed trains, I think they look the best. I mean, obviously it's awesome when they go f go past really quickly. But they look the best when they're going nice and slow because you can get a proper look at them. So yeah, yeah, because also as well, you may notice that the train's details are a little bit on the basic side, but that is because it, ha it has to travel at such high speeds. You can't have everything. So that's just, that's just a thing really. I'll oh, just look at this. I just love it. I love it. All, all I wish... All I wish this train had was um, a 16 car quick drive consist because it only has an 8 car. And I wish it had a 16 car. That would be nice. Because um, I tried making one. It didn't go very well. So uh, may maybe one day. Maybe one day. So we're coming up on Ka what was that? Kan Shanzen Platform 1. I think that's how you say it. They're very long platforms, aren't they? I mean, they can accommodate for this train very nicely indeed. Very nicely indeed. So we've got to, yeah, just stop at the end of the platform and let all the peoples off. Oh my god, I forgot I left the camera in that view. That's scary. Right, there we go. You can hear the spangle noises. The spangle train noises because there is another train over there. There we go. Oh, look, look at that Look at that station sign there. Kang Shanzen. Can't read it. Hang on. Kang Shanzen Railway Station. Very nice. Right, let's put a bit of brake on. Just slow ourselves down. There we go. I will do a, 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 another scenario on this train one day, but the trouble is they're all, it, they all take about an hour, and I don't want to be doing this for an hour. So, you know, train don't... Yeah, right, okay. I thought my train was stopping, then it was the brakes of the dude over there. Because, you know, that's the thing. I'm assuming these barriers are up, because those are the high-speed tracks. Yeah, they are. Cool, fine, fair enough. Now, how much of the train can we get on this time, do you reckon? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Well, as long as we get most of it on, we'll be all right. Just get a bit of power just to get ourselves on there a bit better. There we go. There we go. I just I just love these trains. It's just so different, you know. But it also it reminds me a lot of sort of like, you know, the the Japanese high speed trains. They're very similar in design. So yeah, that's why that's it's, it's a reason why I like them. Don't stop there. Come on, just keep going. Let's keep going just a little bit more. All right, no, we're stopping here. Fine. Fine. You win. Doors. Sorry guys, in the last passenger you go. Let's, let's go. Let's watch this train go past. Let's watch this train go past indeed. Look at that. Screenshot time. Very nice. And there it goes. There you go. That's a working CRH1A. Eh? That's not a broken one. Because, you know, ours is, ours is completely broken. So there you go. That, that, that's, that lets you look at a proper one right there. Very nice indeed. Let's go over here. How's, um, how's everything going? Is everybody getting off and on okay? Yep, everybody's got on and off. So why have we got to sit here for so long? Oh, we haven't. Next stop, Daying East. I can do that. 
I can do that indeed. Right. Go. Go. Come on. Go. There you go. <laughs> just trying to get the acceleration going. It's, it's, it's difficult remembering that we've got a failed train stuck on board. But whatever. Whatever indeed. And there she goes. That's a nice screenshot there. And away we go. Oh, we're going into a tunnel. Tunnel banter. Let's, let's, let's go over to the tunnel. Got, got to love watching trains go in and out of a tunnel. One thing I love about tunnels is tunnel boom. You know, where sort of like the train pushes a shockwave of air in front of it and it breaks the sound barrier. That's just the greatest thing. Let's see if we, how far can we go in the tunnel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sitting here is going to be pretty cool. Um, indeed. We'll just sit here for a little while and wait, wait for the train. Because, you know, why not? It'd be pretty cool if another train came past at high speed and just, like, made me jump. That would, uh, that would be cool, but that wouldn't be cool if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying, this tunnel is about as long as the train. So there you go. Interesting fact for you right there. Let's get some frame rate. Let's just get get some frame rate just so the train gets here a bit quicker. <laughs> so Daying East is in not is not until 20 kilometers, but you go at such a speed, it goes by so quickly. You know, it's just amazing like that. Right, so let's watch the train go past. Here we go. Hi, train. Yeah, that that's an ear-piercing sound, but never mind. It, never mind. I'm, I'm, I, but yeah, I am looking forward to the other trains for this route. I cannot wait to get them. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing indeed. The train's so quiet where it's failed. It's just sort of like, oh, I want to make sound, but I can't. I've, I've, I've sort of not... I'm, br I'm broken. I'm broken. Right, let's... Um, hang on. Let's watch the train pull out the tunnel here. There we go. Let's look at that. Very awesome. I love it. It's fantastic. Let's just stay in here now. So, it's, it's, yeah, full speed, full speed ahead, 250 kilometers an hour, if we can even reach that, before it wants us to slow down again. We should be able to. We should be able to. I want to watch, I should keep on wanting to watch the train go past. Um, I should be doing it when it's going at high speed, to, for, for more awesome factor, but whatever. Whatever. Let's do it from here. This should look pretty cool. There we go. Here comes the train. Yeah, that's quite the, yeah, that is, yeah, what, I'll, should I stop using that? I think I should. I, I seriously think I should. Look at that. That is awesome. That is awesome. It just looks so weird seeing those two trains coupled together. You know, it's just sort of like, it's it's a very sort of Thomas and Gordon situation, you know. Except um, Thomas is um, a 250 kilometer hour train. And Gordon is a, three, is a 350 kilometer hour train. Or 400 kilometer hour train. But whatever. Whatever. Right, how are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. Acceleration sort of whatever. Um, yeah, there's just lone buildings all over the place. Unless, of course, it's meant to be cities and my scenery density isn't turned up high enough, but whatever. Whatever. Look at all those 2D facing sprites. Fun fact, I'm actually making a 2D facing sprite for Train Simulator. Um, once I have done, it should look awesome, but yes, uh, I'm doing that thing. I'm learning how to make stuff in this game. So there you go. Once I've done that, I'll be I'll be making all the, all the things, if I can figure out how. Um, yeah, if, if if I can figure out how, then that'll be a thing. So, yes, as you can see, we've already got 17 kilometers to go. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we do seriously pick up some speed in this thing. I mean, what, 225 is the javelin. So, 250 is still quite a lot of speed, you know, c compared, to, compared to the normal train stuff. Let's get, that, let's get that screenshot. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There. Very nice indeed. It's just you gotta get the right camera angle with this train because you gotta fit the nose in. You know you gotta fit the you gotta fit the huge nose in, which is always a nightmare. Right there we go. Yeah, there we go. definitely, definitely, very nice. Yeah, you gotta fit the huge nose in that it's got. Right, how are we doing? We're doing grand. We are doing grand. Look at that. Look at that huge rock over there. Very nice. Um, so yeah, 250 is our limit, and we can still go top speed, but we'll have to slow down for daying east at some point. At some, at, I was about to say at some point. At some point. Well done, brain. What? Well, well done. Thanks, thanks, brain, for being clever today. So yes, let's look at all this scenery. I love it. Also, I like the winter. You know, it's it's very nice to seeing everything covered in a layer of white. I like it. It's nice. Um, it's very very festive, even though it's the middle of it's nearly summer. But whatever. That is seriously quite some speed, isn't it? That really is indeed. If only it was making more sound. If only if, only if it, it was making more sound. Um. So yes, we can still we can still get ourselves all the way up to 250. I was expecting a 230 at some point. Well, it won't happen just yet, but it will happen in the future. So that's that's the thing, because that, you know we'll have to stop. So yes, 
Yes, indeed. Frame rate, come back. There we go. The frame rate was just playing up just a little bit there. As you can tell, at the top speed, the camera struggles to keep up with these trains. It is, that is a thing. Let's just go right ahead and watch the train come towards us. Here we go. Yeah, that's what we want. Here it comes. Very nice. That is some serious speed. We're nearly approaching 250, so we'll have to, um, we shall have to sort that out. There we go. Right. We're nearly at 250, so we'll have to throttle down and just try and keep the speed. Yeah, as you can see, that it's ticking down now. So 8.9, 8.8, 8. 8. 8.7. Yeah, so that's definitely ticking down now. So once that gets to a certain point, we'll have to start braking. And then, yeah. There you go, 300. But that doesn't really affect us. Right, slow it down. There we go. There we go. 248. Let's just try and stick ourselves at... No, come on. Enough throttle to keep ourselves at 250, please. That'd be nice. Come on. Train, be kind. You're not being kind, are you? We've got a downhill coming up. We have we, we have definitely got a downhill. Let's watch ourselves go down the down. Where's down the down? Here's down the down. Oh, it's, it's a big open... Oh, look at this bridge. This is amazing. It's going along it like that. That's so cool. It's like on the M2 bridge with the Eurostar. That's what that's what that reminds me of. That's awesome. That is awesome indeed. 2.30. 2.30. 2.30. Down we go. Down we go. Right. What next? Tell me next. I don't know what you're going to tell me next. Still 2.30. Okay. Well, we're below 2.30. So that's fine. We'll just sort of stay there. Because there's no there's no timetable to stick to today. So we, we, could, just, we could just wing it, really. And to be perfectly honest, if this train had wings, it would probably take off. It really probably would. Is that a road there? I think that's a road there. Yeah, look, we've got a road here and a road here. Not very many cars. But never mind. Where's the train going? It's going there. There's some cars. Hi, cars. How are you doing today? You're grand. Oh, look, the golden cars have returned again. They have indeed. How are we doing? 160. 160. Okay. Come on, game. Stay with me here. Stay with me. I know you're getting near like a place, but stay with me. Let's look this way. This way's nice. There is it's just it's just probably just all 2D sprites. So there's nothing to really worry about. But you know, that's just a thing. That's just a thing indeed. It just seems to Yeah, the game just likes looking up. That is a massive window. Spangle noises! Hello! Hang on, hello. Let's try and get a screenshot with this dude, shall we? I think so indeed. Alright, hang on. Let's go up over here. Right, we need a nice screenshot with these guys. Hang on. Nearly. There we go. That's what we like to see. Game, the game's died because of the AI. I think. I think that is the reasoning. Oh, just, 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 just look at the AI awesomeness that is there. Very nice. Right. Now we need to get out of that AI's way because it's going to cause us problems. What's that doing? That's saying 90. Cool. We can get down to 90. Because then we've got to get down to 45 and stop at Daying East, which is just there. It is now on the map, which is very nice indeed. So yes. It's quite because the trouble. The thing is with this route is I love going high speed and stuff like that. But if, doing a whole run of it, you know, you just if you, even if you because I'm, I'm avoiding using this really. The um, I'm avoiding using that because it, it there's it, there's no control in it whatsoever. You just like hit it and just like forget that you're even driving a train, and then I'm just it's it's practically just a just a chat session. You know, that's that's why I'm not using the cruise control right now, because people always say you know. This, this this train has cruise control. This plane has autopilot. And I'm like, yeah, but I've got two hands and an Xbox controller. I'll, I'll, I'll drive it myself. You know, which probably scares a lot of people. But whatever. Whatever indeed. We slowed down way too far. But what? You know, whatever. Um, yeah, it's just going here. Yeah, it keeps on defaulting us to the passenger view of the other train. I don't want to be in this train. I want to be in... Yeah, this is the train. Here we go. So you can... So, so this is the passenger view. Of the um, yeah, of the train, which is very nice indeed. Can hear a weird piercing noise sound thing, but whatever. Just look at that. Yeah, the game's sort of dying now because it, it just knows it just knows that there's lots of stuff. I mean, look, there's there's buildings over there in the distance. It's getting a bit built up. That's that's a bit of a city there. It is indeed. So that's just something we're gonna have to deal with for now. I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully at some point, you know, in the, in the future of life, that, that won't be a thing. But until then, it's a thing. So, deal with, deal with it. Deal with it. Right, that's it. There we go. Let's just throttle off there. We don't need, we don't need any more speed than that. 
Oh my god, game, come on! If we just look this way, and the game will run at a normal, a normal bit more of a normal pace. In fact, what frame rate is that? That's about 25 frames per second on average, I guess. There. So that just proves this route, it runs worse than most because it's, it's, it's trying to push for higher speeds. That's what it's made for. And obviously you've got the signaling system, you know, so you've got scenery, signaling system, AI, stuff like that. I mean, it's a third party route and third party routes do tend to be a little bit more busier than your average routes. I know, shut up! So yeah, yeah, your third party routes tend to be a little bit more busy and frame rate heavy. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean it's a bad thing because Just Trains make some amazing stuff. They really do. They really do indeed. Right, on to the platform. There we go. Let's, let's, go. let's just jump ahead to the end of the platform, shall we? I think I think we should indeed. Dun 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 Right, yeah, we're going over here. Oh god, Ronda again. Hang on. Boom. There we go. Right. Why are you standing there? What could you possibly gain from standing here? Oh my god, they're having a stare-off. <laughs> These two are having a stare-off, look. It's like... Dun dun. Dun dun. <laughs> oh god. Having a stare off, it's, it's scary. Right, hang on, let's get back in here where we can actually drive the train with a little bit of a frame rate and just stop here because that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. And then we've just got to go. I think Sweening's next. I'm pretty sure Sweening's after this and it shouldn't be too far away. It shouldn't be in it at all, really. There you go, that'll do. Right. Yeah, I don't think it's too far away. So it's just, just a case of getting ourselves up to speed again. And then we just get on our way. Because it's the trouble, yeah, the frame rate's now causing the game to, like, go a lot slower than real time. So this is now going to take a lot longer than the scenario time said. Because, oh, uh, reasons. Right, stop. Oh, well, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't, st we'll, we'll stop. We'll stop there, because I'm, I'm losing interest in getting in the right place. And stop, and doors. What is this? Oh, that's the electric cable thing. That's that's the pantograph wire. It's apparently uh it's apparently a hexagon shape for some strange reason. In fact, if I get the camera just right, we can probably Oh look, we can look down inside the, the wire. We're currently standing on twenty five thousand volts. Let's not do that. I'm assuming it's twenty five thousand volts. That's what it normally is. Oh my god, game. Let's watch the we're gonna watch the train accelerate like this because we're we're awesome like that. Dude! There you go. We're going to watch the train accelerate from here. Because that, that, that's just the place we're going to do it from. Right. Come on. Right. Sweening. 25 kilometres. Oh, it won't take long to get there, will it? No, it won't at all. Right. The speed limit is 45. That's easy enough. Come on, train. Get going here. There we go. So now we can watch the train go past in an awesome way. At least the frame rate's a bit better. There you go. Look at the train just... Going past there, lovely indeed. Going to take a screenshot of that. Nice. Nice. So this speed, yeah, it's gone up to 90. Woohoo, we can go up to 90. All right, cool, let's full throttle it then. Well, not full throttle, let's put it on 86. That seems to be a good amount. There we go. Ah, I love this train. I do it. I do love it indeed. And um, I bet you're looking forward to the last bit. It's going to be the best bit of the video, that is. The, the, what's going to happen next. You, 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 know, you know you're going to love it. You know you're going to love it indeed. Well, I'm actually going to do two things at the end of this one. I'm going to sh I'm going to show you this going at top speed, I think. I think I'm going to show you this going at top speed and then um yeah, and then we'll do the and then we'll do the thing. And yeah, that'll be a thing. So yeah. Yeah. 25 kilometers. It should it should breeze past though. That's that's the best thing about this route. If you want to feel like you're going somewhere, this is the best route for it. Um unless you've got a really bad laptop like I have. And in which case, it's one of the worst routes. But, you know, that's just the technicalities of computers. Oh, what now? Oh, we can go 90. The speed limit here is actually 90. Okay. Okay. Now it's 320. Go. Just go. Don't care anymore. Let's go. I'm just going to I'm just gonna face this way. There's just less stuff to look at over here. I mean, here, look. Frame rate is... Yeah. Usually when I look up on routes, it goes up to about 60. Any, I, when I'm not recording and I look up at no assets whatsoever like that, obviously we're seeing Pantograph, but forget that. Um, I can get anything up to, like, you know, what, 120 frames per second, but because it's not looking at anything. As soon as I start recording, that drops down to about 60. And on this route, it goes down to about 25. So, yeah, mm, but whatever. Come on. Come on, game. Come on. 
So yeah, and also, yeah, dyna remember, dynamic lighting is already off, so there is literally nothing more that I can do to increase this frame rate, other than remove all the scenery, but then it'd just be like a piece of, it'd just be like a test track, and we don't want that. We don't want that at all. Come on, game, come back. Because we don't just look up there the whole time, do we? No, I must admit, the clouds are very nice. Ah, there's, there's AI, that's not going to help. AI help, bantered, not goodness. There we go, right. We're going to take another screenshot again because we've got nothing to lose. You know, we've got nothing to lose now. Hang on, nearly. That's good, that's good. Stop making the sounds, I've paused the game. Um, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, game. There we go. Nice. Nice. And continue on your day. There we go. Oh, look. Windows, windows. Which way, which direction is the train travelling in? You guys tell me. Well, it's obvious now, but whatever. Whatever. And goodbye, train. I said goodbye, train. There we go. Off it goes into the, um, into the summer. I always say off it goes into the sunset, but it's never actually the sunset. That's just, an, oh, whatever. That's just an annoying thing. So, yeah, can we still go 320? We can still go 320, even though it feels like we're only going at, like, 90 um, kilometers an hour at the moment because of the frame rate, but whatever. Whatever, indeed. Let's look at this train, though. I just love its shape. Just how streamlined it is. It just looks amazing. I'd love a reskin. I'd love a reskin of it. Like, you know, a Mole Man reskin. So, it's British train, so it's got the yellow on the front. And all that other stuff, you know. Or well, imagine like a Euro. This in the Euro Star livery. Oh my, that would be the best thing. The ultimate Euro Star, London to Paris in five minutes. <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be amazing indeed. Somebody make reskins for this train because it's awesome. This is a, this is the thing I'm asking for because it's all aw yeah, it's awesome. Let's look at that. That's 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 a pretty nice screenshot there. Well, not when the pantograph stuff gets in the way. It got in the way twice. It's got in the way for three times. All right, okay, I've had enough now. All right, there we go. They didn't get in the way that time. It didn't get in the way as much that time. So there we go. Oh my god, game, come on, come on, stay with me here. I'm almost considering just completely dropping the, f just just completely dropping, finishing the scenario now because it's being annoying. It is, it's being annoying. It it really is. It it really is. So I think, I know that we're heading towards the final destination, but because of the frame rate, I think it's about time we move on to the next bit, where I show you what this train looks like going at full speed. So let's just watch the train go past here, and there we go. Yeah, that's, yeah, we need a better frame rate than that. We, we seriously do indeed. There we go, let's look at that. Yeah, we need a better frame rate. Right, okay. And that's gone past. Let's look up to the sky. Very nice. Look at that, it's perfect blue. That's very pretty. I will see you in just a second. And so we're just going to get ourselves up to speed here on the m most blandest route in the world. The one I made. It's just two pieces of straight track that goes on for 20 kilometers. It's good enough to get any train up to speed and then crash into the buffers at the other end. But we are just going to get what, see what th this train can do at full speed. Just, just to have a look. Just to see how fast it actually looks when it goes past and stuff. Now I'm outside the train at the moment because inside there's this annoying alarm going off which is annoying. So I'm staying out here. But as you can see the speed limit is 90 which doesn't really matter. But we are going up and up and up. And we've got about 10 miles to go until the end of the line. So um, we, should, we shall see how fast this thing gets to go in that time. It should be very fast indeed. Also look at the lovely sky there. This is still dynamic lighting off. I mean, on the when, in the right scenario and stuff like that, in the right situation, um, even with it off, it the game looks very nice. But still, I'd prefer to have it on because otherwise everything does look like it's a piece of plastic. But whatever, whatever indeed. How fast are we now going? That's 150 miles an hour. This is miles an hour, so yeah, 150 miles an hour. This is just crazy. Yep. So once, so once we get up to um. Yeah, that's 160 miles an hour. So I don't know what it is in kilometres. So I have to go in here. So there you go. We're going at um, 200, over 260 kilometres an hour right now. So yes, um, which is faster than we went in the other scenario. Even though you wouldn't have been able to tell. Because if you look at the frame rate on this, it's going 50 frames per second, right? Or 40 frames per second. 30. And yeah, it's very, very nice on here. But whatever. 
We're nearly going as fast as the Eurostar does. So this is, um, yeah, just to give you an idea. And we're still accelerating. So yeah, so 186 is where the Euro is 300 kilometers an hour. And we'll still be going faster than that. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. So if we watch the train go past. That is quite the speed. It really is. It was amazing. It also makes that sound effect go really weird, but whatever. Look at that. Oh, shut up. Um, <laughs> I keep on forgetting about that. We've got six miles to go until the end of this. So, yes, that, then that'll be fun. And then we'll, do the, then we'll do the normal thing. We will do the normal thing, because why, why wouldn't we do the normal thing? You know, right, so, yeah, look, we're well over 200 miles an hour now. Look at this. So, we should get up to about 240 miles an hour, if we're lucky. Um, but this route might not be long enough. 20 kilometers might not do it. It should do. I mean, it should do, but, you know, might not. But we are going to get to the other end at quite the speed. I'm not going to lie. It's go it's, it is quite the speed. So look at this. It's crazy. It's craziness indeed. Nearly at 220 miles an hour. In fact, we're going to go ahead and watch this train go past. Just, just, just for the reasons of everything. And boom. So, you know, imagine like you're doing your normal walking thing and there's a trespass thing and stuff like that and you wait and then you hear a well you can't hear the whistle yet but you hear it there you go and you look to see what's coming and you see this that's just ridiculously shut up that's just ridiculously fast it really is we've got two and a half miles to go until the end it's called third end because this is meant to be the third rail track that's meant to be the overhead track but this one seems to take overhead as well so i don't know what went wrong there but whatever Whatever indeed. Oh, here comes the end. Hang on. Here, we're going at 230 miles an hour. And we're heading straight for the end. Oh, boy. So, yeah. So, imagine you're these buffers right now. That's all I want you to picture. Is that if you're these buffers... We're, we're just going to hit 235, I reckon. Oh, my. Okay. RIP buffers and RIP train. This is quite the speed to hit something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, and then it just curls up like a snake for, for for when it's like full up or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a good deceleration rate that is. So I think it's about time we did the normal thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, I certainly have, it's been a little bit laggy but you know, such is life, such is life indeed. So we're about to do the main thing and so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching this one, if you enjoyed it then please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.